I remade drops into mobs in Minecraft. First, I'm going to create a bone mob. This one is going to be a bony spider. The Minecraft bone is long and skinny, so I decided to make each part of this spider's leg an individual bone with joints and all. Copy it a couple of times, we'll eventually get all eight legs in there. With the general shape done, it's time to start working on the eyes. Tons of super creepy here black eyes. Then I started getting to work, making the entire body super bony. I'm basically just erasing a ton of the work I did before, but trust me, it looks great. To make it really look like a skeleton, I need to darken all of the joints. I also added these grippy pincers to the front of the spider. It just felt right. Now I just need to bend all of the legs. Oh my gosh. Not to brag, but this looks incredible. But let's see how it actually looks in Minecraft. Here's a bony spider, buddy. The legs turned out beautiful. The core of this spider, though, it looks like a spine elongated down its back and the fangs. I have a small confession. I have an absurd fear of spiders. But my therapist said to overcome my fears by facing them. Oh, it's a lot of spiders. Oh my golly. I'm missing. Hold on. Turn. Fight. Yes. Take him down. We're only one down with how many is that? One, two, three, four, ten to go. Sorry, therapist. I'm gonna let the spider fear go on and give these creepy spiders a nine out of ten. My next idea is to turn a shulker box into a shulker themed dinosaur. Let's start with this cube. Yes, it is a cow. Don't question it. See, better already. Shulker. I thought a good texture for the body of this mob would be endstone to go with the shulker theme. So we're going to use these pieces to create the rest of the body. This part will be the head, but we're also going to give it a shulker helmet. Carve out little eye holes for the mob to see out of. That's important. Then texture in those lookers. Now let's move this beast up and give it some legs. Here are some little shulker shells boots. I'd like to see you walk a mile in his shoes. Now for the tail. You guessed it, spiky and with some shulker armor. It's almost like a shulker hippo. But let's see how this beast looks in game. The shulker sheller turned out beautiful. This guy is one cute baby hippo. Other than the boxy fat shape, he turned out pretty solid, I'd say. Look at the shulker shells getting along. They're turning it into their very own little ecosystem. Oh my goodness, my health. Those spiders really did some work on me. I guess I really only have one option. I'm gonna need some meat, so I sincerely apologize for this. Oh, yikes. Sir. Oh! Face my fury! Ooh, the king is back! Shulker shells. Can't eat those. I wasted my time. Now that I know that there's not a single benefit for me taking you down, let's make peace, and I'll give you a solid rating. 9.6 out of 10. We already have blazes, but what happens when we use them to create a blaze rod moose? Sounds crazy. Let me show you. I'm starting here with a body shape just like this. And I also put blaze rod and powder textures into block bench to get a feel for just how to use them. I ended up being able to turn the blaze powder into a tail and the rods into these antler pieces. But being antlers, I couldn't stop there. I had to make more branching off parts. Also, blaze rod textured, of course. I just went ahead and gave it this really derpy looking face and then got to work on the texturing. I thought it'd look cool for the legs to look like blaze skin. The saturation was a little bit too low, so I turned that up and the texture looked fire. Get it? As a last touch, I also added these crimson fungus. Fung- funguses. Fungi? Ah, whatever. Honestly, I wasn't expecting this one to turn out so good, but let's see how this spicy boy looks in game. One of the coolest creations ever. The tail looks awesome. These blaze scavengers can spawn with a random chance to hold different items. Boom! Blaze rod! This one's got an ender pearl. These blaze scavengers can steal what you're holding in your hand, and in return, they'll drop whatever they're holding. I walk up to this guy, and they they stole my iron sword. I'll trade you something useless. How about that? Here, take the shulker shells. Thank you. Give me that blaze rod. We've got a total of five blaze rods now. <laughs> you guys are coming after me. Let me trade for my iron sword back. Come on. Let me get it. Give it back. Give it back. No! My blaze rods! I realized one minor mistake that I made. They only do one trade. There's my iron sword. Give it back to me. Solid seven out of ten for the blaze scavengers. I have got a great idea for this next one. We're gonna take a saddle and turn it into a rideable steed mob. 
I'll need to start by making this base for the saddle, then go straight to the eyes. Duplicate this bit and bring it down. This is going to become the mouth. Then I'll bring the whole thing up. It's gonna need some strong legs in order for it to be a steed. Speaking of legs, let's make them. I thought it would look cool to have the feet look like the buckle on a saddle. I'm just not quite feeling the color though, so let's fix that. Now it's texturing time. A little bit here, a little bit there. Now to make those buckle feet metallic colored. And now for the saddle. It's almost like I'm giving him a hat. As an added touch, I also gave it a tongue. This saddle mob is looking awesome. But let's check it out in Minecraft. <laughs> You look ridiculous. I'm really not sure what we were going for here. Of course, he's a saddle, so we gotta be able to ride him. Hop on top, our saddle roll is under our control and he can move quite fast. Our saddle roll can jump like a kangaroo. I mean, I saw those legs and I just couldn't help myself. Watch how fast we can scale this mountain. Boom, scale all the way to the top. Go, saddle roll, go. Now, can you survive a leap off is the main question to be answered. You oh, nope, 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 that definitely hurts. Not too bad though. These reverse ankles are absorbing quite a bit of impact. How much impact can they absorb, though? I'd say that's high enough. Fingers crossed those ankles are stronger than they look. I wish you the best of luck, buddy! Let's go! <laughs> that's a long way down. That's longer than I thought. Oh, yikes. You failed me. So you get a 7 out of 10. What's next? Well, arrows have feathers, right? We'll use those feathers to make a flying arrow mob. I'm basically going to need to make a bunch of sticks to turn into feathers. Once it's stick colored, I'll start to make the pointed end. And here are some eyes that are way too big for this bob. Body. It kind of looks like a spear. So now the arrows come into play. I don't want to go too crazy here yet. So just like that should be perfect. Now to attach more arrow pieces. And on these, I'll be adding even more feathers then duplicated all over. Now I just need to rotate them to look like wings instead of creepy legs. And we are ready for takeoff. Fly away, little arrow. We're going to have to see if it actually flies in game. You are so hard to see. This arrow fly is so tiny and delicate and flies around so quickly. That's sort of the point of being made of arrows. Oh, I lost you. There you are. And also for you to be very dangerous. The arrows come at us very, very quickly. Okay, just get behind the cacti. The dodging game is unreal. If the line of sight is perfect, they're almost undodgeable. Let's see. I'm gonna stand over here. There, I dodged. Oh, I'm dodging him, actually. Oh, I'm consistently dodging him. Oh, I didn't dodge that one. All right, it's time to return fire. I can't reach you, you intelligent little man. I made you too powerful, but... Tag, you're it. I got you. It looks like I lost the battle. But trust me, we came out on top. The only change I'd make for the arrow fly is just make him a tad bit thicker. So he's a little easier to track. Other than that, 7.5 out of 10. I kind of hate the texture for the spider eye. Let's make it into a really scary mob. Start with a dark red cube. Then I'll turn the entire front of the cube pure blinding white. Now I'm going to add this giant pupil. Yup, it is one giant spider eye. The spider eye item also has the these gross pieces on it. So I'll have to add those to the head. And to do that, I'll make these horns and also these extra little curvy bits. Now to get down to it, I'll start adding all those creepy tentacle parts all over the mob. Add some down here to act like legs. Once that's done, we really just need to do the texturing. I am almost horrified by my own creation, but here it is. Let's just see how this abomination looks in Minecraft. All right, folks, I'm not sure why I didn't expect this when I was modeling it, but the spider eye turned out a whole lot bigger than I was anticipating. And that eye is dangerous and extremely creepy. I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. Look at this thing hover above the ground like it's just paroling its territory, which just means a whole lot of fun is about to happen. Can I reach him? <laughs> I can't even reach him. There we go. Easy. Got one hit off. Oh, Mr. Spider Eye, you're going down. Oh, four arrows. And we got the Spider Eye. And now we can use the Spider Eye to track any mobs in the area. Right now, we see our shulker shellers looking cute as they do. And we found some of the bone spiders that disappeared earlier. Oh, they're coming back at us. This Spider Eye, probably one of the best drops that we could get from a drop mob. Nine out of 10 to the Spider Eye. We may already have a Magma Cube, but what if we turned Magma Cream into its own mob. Let's do it. I started by making this goopy block to be the base for the mob. And now that I'm happy with the shape, I'll get to work on the 
face. It won't be anything crazy though. I'll just use the slime and magma cube as inspiration. I always thought it was weird that magma cream had green in it, but here goes nothing. Time to add green. I decided to make the color gradient from green to red, just like the magma cream. I wasn't sure at first, but that actually looks cool. Now it's time to blend it all. It looks like it's covering up the face though. So let me fix that. There we go, much better. I also decided to add the extra translucent layer, just like slimes. I think magma cream mob is ready to go, but let's check it out in Minecraft. The magma slime takes the cuteness level off the charts. He almost looks like a pillow I could sleep on. Unless I start to look at things a little bit longer and the outside looks more like gross, gross. But as long as I just ignore the fact that these could be hot fungus, this guy and I could certainly be best friends, which means that I have to take it upon myself to care for him. And I saved some blaze rods from earlier to make blaze powder so we can tame our friendly magma slime and you and I can live together forever in happiness. Our magma slime is now going to follow us forever, wherever we go. And anytime that I need some magma cream, grab some slime balls, trade you that, and I get magma cream. No matter how much magma cream you give me, this guy doesn't get any smaller. Let's see if he still loves me after I took all that from him. Look, we're still great friends. And in exchange for your friendship, buddy, I'll give you an eight out of 10. Now, let's turn this prismarine shard into a prismarine shark. This body shape will be long with a mouth kind of like this, but we're just getting started. I'll use the prismarine shards all across the body to make fins for the shark. Honestly, I could stop here. I think we already have a pretty good mob, but let's keep going. I added some gills to the side and a lot of texturing all around the shark. I also wanted to give some glow to the shark just like the sea lanterns found in ocean monuments. And you might not see them super well, but I added some teeth too. Yeah, this shark is looking great. Ba-dun, 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 ba All right, enough funny business. Let's check it out in game. And now, my friend, you have a home. Do I dare go in the water with him? Oh my, instantly. I dunk my toes for just a half a second and he spins around and whips me with his tail. He's trying to do it again. Dunk, oop, got me. Dunk, oop, oop, dodge that one. Now I can get you. Yep, let's face it, let's fight it in the water. Wow, that was too easy. I think it gave me a little too much confidence beating up on a helpless shark. I'll return the favor with a colony of sharks or a school. That's what they're called, a school of sharks. And these sharks did not witness what took place earlier, so we are not fine. We are not fine. They spoke to each other. Things are not going well. Oh my gosh, I can't even swim out. I can't swim out. They all got they all got a hold of me. I'm not gonna be able to get as long as I stay on the shore, I should be safe from the school, which I'm going to need when they're angered by this three out of ten rating. I think the bad ratings really just reflect poorly on me. Next, I'm going to turn gunpowder into a cute little monster. I'll start by creating this little gunpowder shaped mound, then add this blocky shape to become the face. This is going to be its mouth, so I need to open it up. This little gunpowder mob is going to be kind of crab shaped, so I'll give it these eyes. Hey, it's looking pretty cute already. Now to make the legs and duplicate them. Look at that. He can do the splits. Don't worry, we'll fix the legs. I just need to do a bit of texturing. Now back to those legs. Let's make sure they bend a little bit. Oh yeah, this is one lit gunpowder mob, but to get the full effect, we've got to check it out in Minecraft. We'll just yeah, there we go. We got the gunpowder to drop. I like that they're creepy. So I go for a little creepy effect and turn them into little crabs that look a lot like spiders. Why do I do this to myself? These guys work like little tiny mini creepers that try and sneak up on you. They don't do a whole lot of damage though. So we're totally fine sticking nearby. Let's spawn in a ton of these guys and see how many it takes. It's a massive army of gunpowder. All right, hey guys. How how do you do? We can hang out, right? Oh, this is not gonna be good. I'm just gonna stand in the middle of it. <laughs> he blew me up into the air and that's the reason I survived. I don't think I'm gonna survive these explosions though. I'm not. Creepy factor, eight out of 10. Usefulness, six out of 10. Cuteness, two out of 10. Which means you, buddy, get a 6.5. I believe my math is accurate. It's time to turn a phantom membrane into a phantom menace, just like Star Wars. And I'm gonna start with the phantom mob this time, but I'm going to cut the wings off and replace them with these giant phantom membrane textures. It looks kinda goofy right now, but you can see the vision. Adding them like this will make it feel a little bit like a dragonfly. 
keep that up, I also gave it some antenna. Now it's time to give it some legs. Can you believe they never had these? Now for a little tailpiece too, also looking like the membrane, of course. Stretch that face forward and pull it up to look a little more like an insect and it's gonna be ready to rock. Let's check it out in game. Let's go ahead and plop you right next to this village here. Look at how sweet this phantom menace looks. When the wings are done right on any mob, it looks so good. The little tiny legs on the bottom, ooh, flawless. Oh my gosh. And the phantom menace will charge people that haven't slept? I forgot I didn't sleep. Let's find a solid hiding spot and get away from this guy. Or find somebody else who hasn't slept. Oh my gosh, he's right on our tail. He's too fast for us to find and escape. Wait, I have an idea. We can ride our saddle. I completely forgot you're still here. Thank you. Let's ride away. Go quick, go quick, really fast, faster than this. We made our escape. Oh, we didn't make our escape. I have two options. Either I go to bed or I turn and fight. Just have to get you close enough that I can get a solid hit off. Three, two, one, jump. I completely missed. There you go. That's two from the one earlier plus that equals two. Here we go. Got you again. And you're down. I'm never sleeping in my life. But I'm still going to give you a 9 out of 10. Now, I want to take a nether star and turn it into a nether sheep because I feel like it. And guess what we're starting with? A sheep. Shocker. I know I want to use the nether star color palette for the mob, but I went ahead and threw on the entire nether star item first. And then I did it again and again. Now, it's an entire nether star main. I made the eyes yellow and the mouth blue. Honestly, kind of freaky. This kind of makes it look more like a bull, but I decided to add these blue horns. I'll use more parts of the nether star to create these star piece toenails and then put on more nether stars. You get a nether star. You get a nether star. Then I'll splash some color all over it to make it perfectly fit the nether star theme. Man, I've said nether star more than I ever have in my entire life and it's ready to go. Never have I seen a mob like this. Yeah, that one was bad. We'll just have to check it out in Minecraft and we saved the best for last. Our nether sheep. From the front, he looks a little bit like some sort of feline cat. But when you get the side, it's a dead giveaway. That's a sheep. And as our nether sheep walks around, he's going to drop off these nether star flowers around the area. Now we can wait for enough of these nether star flowers to be placed around. Right now, we've only got four. Let's see if you can produce a few more for us, buddy. How about it? Oh, oh okay. Back up, back up. They're dangerous. They're very dangerous. You don't want to get too close or else they're going to start damaging you just like that. Okay, let's back up. Let's back up. Let's back up. Let's stand at a safe distance and try and mine it down. Just got it. Let me get that one, that one, that one. That's three, that's four. And unfolds our most evil plan of all. I'm gonna place one at each door. So these villagers have a terrible time. Oh, this is so evil. And willing or unwilling, our nether sheep has partaken in our evil plans. We're gonna have to go 9.5 out of 10 